hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i'll be showing you how to make pop-up camper curtains because i bought a camper and the curtains look a little bit chewed up like a dog got into a fight with them like look at that so i thought i'd buy some new curtains to go with it but they were so difficult to find online and when i did find them they were so expensive so I thought, hmm, I'm just going to make some myself. Mm. So I've come up with a plan. I bought fabric and I'm ready to go. So let's get into it. The first thing I got to consider is the sliders to hang the curtains. In the camper, there's a little tiny rod that these little sliders fit onto. Well, as you can see, these are riveted in place. So there's no way to remove them and put them on the new curtains. It does have this plastic strip that holds them together. But if I remove the plastic strip, because it's an older camper, this may have been there from day one. It may have dry rotted or crystallized in some way. So I don't think I wanna take it off of this fabric. So what I'll do is just cut it off with the backing on it and then I'll stitch this onto my new curtains. Now the bedroom curtains were just like those previous curtains but they had this mesh thing at the top. Maybe to let air in in the night while you sleep. I'm assuming that's what it was for. So the problem with this is that the slider is on the mesh. So what I plan to do is just to cut off the mesh and attach it to the new curtains at the top. Now this is the fabric that I got. I got 10 yards. I didn't need as much. I needed like eight and a half yards, but I got 10 because just in case I make an error somewhere, I'll have extra fabric or if I need to repair something in the future, I'll have a piece of the fabric. Also, it was the closest thing I could find to this color that would actually match the cushions that are in the camper and keep it looking a little bit coordinated. You know what I mean? So to save time, I've gone ahead and cut these off of the bedroom curtains. And now I have this to reuse and I'll be cutting out fabric to make this part. I have my fabric laid out. Just wanna get the measurement for this and this is 39 inches complete, like a one and a half inch hem. And of course, there's an allowance up here to attach it back to the mesh. And where I cut some of the mesh off, I have to factor that into my measurements as well. So I'll just give it an extra inch for the mesh that was lost here. So instead of 39, I'll say, 40 inches of fabric plus half an inch to stitch it to the mesh at the top plus one and a half inches for the hem at the bottom so that will be 42 inches And we're ready to sew that now for the kitchen curtains all I need to do is cut this section off which I'll cut it off with a little bit of allowance at the bottom there we go and the allowance is so when I'm sewing it on, I'll just bend this backwards and it will make a neater finish. Now I'll do this final one and I'm ready to sew. It doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, we're not making this for a palace. It's for a tent trailer. I mean, 
aim is to have privacy. People won't be able to look into the camera and see us when we're inside. Now, in addition to the curtains, I have some valances as well. And uh, I plan to keep the valances because they don't have any major issues. And frugality is my second middle name. So if it's not really damaged, I wouldn't replace them. So where it still complements the fabric that I have, I'll use it anyway. But the elastic that holds the sliders, because this is different again, the sliders are on the elastic, but it's not on the valance itself. So I've come up with a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. To fix this, I have half inch elastic that I can use a bodkin to thread through between this elastic and the valance that will give it elasticity. So I just thread it through, tap the edges, and put these right back up. Isn't that great? There we have it. All my curtains are cut. Kitchen, bedroom, dining room. We're all set. We're ready to sew. So now we're gonna sew. I'll start with the sides and then the bottom and then I'll put the slider section onto the top to complete the curtain. I just want like an inch and a quarter hem. And there, it even has a nice little piping look happening at the top because I put it on that way. Isn't that cool? So for the bedroom curtains, I am not going to hem it first. I'm actually going to fold this part in to the hem.
After connecting this, for sure, I have to neaten the finish, so I'll have to serge it. That's what it looks like. Now I'll finish serging that, I can do the hem. I'll just flip that out and I'll do the sides again before I do the bottom. So the last thing is the valance that I'm using. They're okay except the elastic is worn. So I had this huge roll of elastic that I brought from Jamaica many, many moons ago. So I just loop some of that through it. So I've already measured off a piece by just basically holding the width of the valance and stretching it all the way to the end. To get the measurement now I'll use my flexi bodkin to loop that in here Now this is the finished product hanging in the camper and they look perfect, they are so gorgeous. So I'm all done, what do you think? Aren't they just gorgeous? Anyway, I hope you liked my camper curtain tutorial. If you did, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And if you're a first time visitor to the channel, please remember to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.